A day of tears, memories and togetherness. Dozens of people gathered this afternoon in St. Louis to remember the lives of lost 50 years ago when Ozark Airlines Flight 809 went down. Jeffrey Bullard takes us there. Jane R. Doyle, Laura Du Wallace. 38 names read one by one, honoring the lives lost when Ozark Flight 809 went down in a thunderstorm July 23, 1973. Norman Allen. John G. Borton. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. John, John's on John's your, Michael. Donna Diebold finds the names of her grandparents, John and Ruth Diebold, on this memory board. It's surreal and a little bittersweet knowing that this is the place our loved ones perished 50 years ago. Diebold is here with her Aunt Jeanetta McConnell for this memorial service. McConnell reflects on the last time she saw her parents as they boarded the flight in Cape Girardeau. My, it was cloudy and stormy and my son said, Grandpa, what happens if you, um, if you get in a storm? And he said, we just fly above it. Yeah. That was his it's last storm, words. It's <laughs> not Sydney, but it did say it was. So. Yeah, it wasn't storming when they left Cape, but it was up here. Also at the service, Barbara Glass and her daughter Shannon. Barbara was six months pregnant when she lost her husband John that fateful day. She calls raising Shannon her greatest accomplishment. My father was a passenger that was flying. There's a plane flying up ahead right now, interestingly. But uh, anyway, it, we've spent about a year organizing this, and um, we wanted to mark the 50th anniversary of this horrible event and remember the people that we lost. Father George Brennan remembers the crash all too well. He actually saw the devastation as he drove along Interstate 70. And looked over, the plane was already down, but it had really, it had really hit. And I, I was not in a position to get off. And now, half a century later, he's here to help these families remember their loved ones. I solemnly bless this site in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. McConnell tells me she wants this ceremony to help her move past a tragedy she's lived with most of her life. No, I just want to thank everybody for, um, you know, their presence and their what, what everybody has done. In St. Louis, Jeffrey Bullard, Heartland News. The families of Ozark 809 are working with leaders from the University of Missouri to put a permanent marker on or near the crash site. A university spokesman says they are open to discussions on the project.